What's going on guys? Courtney's here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to help you answer these um, questions, the most common objections that we face in our industry today. Um, hopefully you get a lot of really good value out of it. I'm just going to um, show you exactly how I would respond to these objections and then I'm going to kind of break down the psychology behind why this works so that way you know uh, why it works. That way you can modify it to meet your personality and to, you know, to really find um, what works best for you. So do what works best for you. These aren't the only ways to handle the objections, but they're just some really good ways that I found that have worked really well for me. So the first one is, so how much money you're making? How much money are you making? This is what you say. It's not about what I make. It's about what you're going to do. It's not really about how much money I make, Bill. It's about what you're going to do with this opportunity and how much money you could make. The second one is, not sure I can afford it. This is the easiest one ever. So, assuming you did a good job in the sales presentation, you found their why, this is what you say when you get, I'm not sure I can afford to do this, Corey. You say, okay, Bill, you know, I understand, but based off of what you told me in our conversation, you said you wanted time freedom to be able to quit your job to be able to stay home with your kids and wife more often and to be able to travel the country and live your dreams, right? So to me, it sounds like you can't afford not to do this opportunity. You totally flip it on them. Um, but the key is to figure out their why. That way you can use it as a lever handling these objections. And then the last one is, uh, I don't have time. I'm not sure if I'd have enough time to build this. You just simply say, um, you know, this is this goes back with the 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 why. You say, hey, uh, we all have 24 hours in a day. You said you wanted time freedom. You said you wanted to quit your job and work from home full time. Well, you're gonna need to free up some time in order to make that happen. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit down. We're gonna talk on the phone. Whatever we gotta do to come up with some time management strategies. I'm gonna help you apply those in your business so you can start working the hours that you need to do to get your business running and off the ground in as little as five to 20 hours per week. Something as simple as that, say, hey, I'm gonna help you with time management strategies to free up enough time to get your business going. You know what, Bill? You know what, Tim? Most people in our industry start part-time only working five to 20 hours per week and go on to make full-time incomes uh, and quit their jobs. Um, well, sometimes that happens. Don't actually say that happens most of the time because it doesn't, but most people start part-time. That's what I'm trying to get across. Most people start part-time. So the reason, the psychology behind why this works, how much money are you making? This is why this objection works. When you, or This is why uh, what I said to handle this objection works because how much money uh, you don't make, assuming you're hardly making any money at all, you're brand new, or how much money you do make, assuming you're really good at what you do, you're making a lot of money, how much money you're making or not making has absolutely nothing to do with the opportunity you're presenting to your prospect. This is about your prospect and how they can use your opportunity that you're giving to them. It has nothing to do about it has nothing to do with how much money you're making or not making because quite frankly, if you give them that information, it could be the reason why they don't want to work with you. They could see you making six figures and say to themselves, oh shit, you know, I'm never gonna make that kind of money because they don't believe in themselves. Or it could be the opposite. You say, you know what, you know, I just got started. I haven't made a penny yet. They're gonna be like, oh, see, those things don't work. I don't wanna do this anyway. I wanna go work with another leader that's making a lot of money or something. You don't wanna get in that situation. This is just an objection um, in their head and you need to know how to handle it. And this is how you handle it. And that's the psychology behind you know why this works so make sure you know that when you're talking to your prospects and then uh, not sure I can afford it you know the psychology behind that is uh, you know really just the same the same with how much money are you making and I don't have the time it's all about using the why that they give you as the lever in which you can you know uh, properly influence them to make a beneficial decision for them um, recruiting and sales isn't about just selling something to make a commission or a quick buck. It's about helping somebody get closer to where they want to go, to the person they want to be, to the results they want to have in their life. And when you know that and 
you use that basic psychology in handling your objections and your sales presentations and calls, you're gonna make a lot more sales and recruit a lot more people. Hopefully these tips helped a lot. If they did, drop me a comment below. I'd love to connect with you. Have a great Friday, have a great weekend, my friend. Hustle, and I will see you guys at the top. Take care.